Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have you here and I'm going to be looking into March the 15th through April the 15th is 2024. Now, of course, everything that you need to know about me is all going to be right down below in our description box and I thank you now for all of your love and your support. So what I'm going to be doing right now is um, pulling the card from the uh, major arcana that I have right here and figure out who I'll be reading for next, okay? And let's see who that is, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, okay? March the 15th through April 15th, and we have the Devil card right here. Capricorn is next. Okay, so let's write that down real quick so I can remember everybody that I've done so far. Okay, I already did Taurus and Libra, okay? Capricorn. So that's the way I know I already did Taurus, Libras, and Capricorns, okay? So anyway, Capricorn, in this message, I'm gonna do things a little bit different right here. I'm going to pull three cards from all the decks right here that I have right here and um, get you some messages, okay? So, let's see what we have right here with Capricorn. So, look like we're starting right here with love first. So, let's see what we have here for love for you. Okay, so March the 15th through April the 15th is 2024, please. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, let's see here. Capricorn. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Romantic Feelings. Okay. The message right here, please. It's like, I want to explore you. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. So, I feel like I, I feel like this person is somebody that you're not married to. This person is somebody here that, um, is not necessarily your soulmate in some way because it said this is in reverse. It says, yes, this is your soulmate, it's in reverse right here, okay. But it's like I still want to explore this. Hmm. You get a sense right here. Oh, I want to explore if you are my soulmate, something like that. But it says romantic feelings. It says your feelings are real and they're worth exploring. So it's like, I do want to see what you be like or something like that. I'll get right here. I want to see what this be like or something like that. I want to get close right here to you or something. Hmm. Hmm. Capricorn. Yes. I feel like I want to get close to you. I want to kiss you. We're about to make this X-rated. <laughs> Capricorn, I want to kiss you. Oh, Lord, you have mercy. Okay, well, let's just fact this right here reverse. It's like, I don't want to be married, though, or something like that, or I'm not married to you. Could be the case here. But it says your love life is influenced by um, religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like this person could be very different from you. Maybe religious. Maybe they have a different religious tone. Or um, I feel like they're very different from you in some way. Yeah, I feel like they are. But it's like... I still want to know. <laughs> I still want to know. I still want to get close to you or kiss you or something. It's like I'm still attracted or something I feel here. It's like, yeah, because I kind of feel like right here, it's like maybe you're not my soulmate or maybe you are. I don't know. But there's kind of one way to find out or something like that. I kind of feel right here, right? It's like I don't want to be away from you. Separation curve reverse. I don't want to be away from you. It's like time apart from you that be on the horizon. I feel like that kind of affects somebody right here. See how this one's holding their heart? It's like, I don't want to be away from you, though. I really don't. I feel so getting here. So, okay, Capricorns. Ooh. Love life is definitely lit up, okay? Got some spicy energy right there. Somebody here you really attracted to, or they really attracted to you. I'm getting like for real, okay? All right, let me see what else here. Capricorn right here. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Capricorn. Let's see what else we get. Capricorns, okay, March the 15th through April the 15th of 2024. Okay. Hmm. It says business venture, trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So for some of you, we're talking about finances now. And I feel like something here is more than enough financially. Because look at these elves. Look at all these um gold coins. I mean, it's falling down. It's enough for everybody. I'm telling you, it's enough here. Okay, somebody here. Um, Business opportunity is really going to bring in a lot of freaking money. I'm getting right here. Something could be about mining. I never look at this car. I had this car ever since 2017. Okay. I never even seen it, but these, you see the, the crystals in the back or the purple in the back? It made me feel like mining. I'm not sure if mining has to do with something here some way. Okay, maybe it does and maybe it does not, but this purple could represent royalty as well, could be the case. 
all right, or some ancient something, something like that, okay? But yeah, easy does it. It says, stop trying so hard to control everything, and then that's when all the doors will open up for you right here, okay? And then we have right here a spiritual teacher right here. It says, your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality right here, okay? So something here, these purple, I feel like royal. Somebody could be royalty in some way, yeah. Or victory or triumph is successful, okay? So I feel like for some of you right here, right? Man, Capricorn, I'm getting in the springtime. Something here is right. I'm getting financially and it's in the springtime here. That could be so much. I'm getting like, there's so much right here. It's overflowing in your business in the spring. I'm getting right here. It says your desires, they fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom right here. I feel like that's when something here is overflowing. I'm getting right here. It's like, oh my God. But I feel like stop trying so hard to control something now because the springtime is when something moves forward. I'm getting right here. Yeah. Stop trying so hard to control it right now. Let something, you know, just go calmly and smoothly now. Okay. In the springtime, something overflows like, like a riverbank, something like that. Wow, okay, so that's really cool. All right, let me see what else here, okay? Capricorn, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, please. Capricorn, all right. I'm addicted to you, wow. So you're addicted to something or somebody? Could be the case here. Let me see what else here, Capricorn. Capricorn, please. Capricorn, please. Capricorn. All right, let's see here. Wow. Hmm. Let me see this one right here. So let me see what you're doing right here. Hmm. Capricorn, I'm getting like I'm addicted to you or something like that, right? Um, but I feel like right here, it's like I gotta figure out. It's like I gotta figure out how to do this or something like that. This strategy right here, take a risk, take a chance, a leap of faith, a strategy. I gotta figure out how to do this, how to reconcile with you or something like that, okay? It's like somebody's is such a magnetic attraction. I'm getting right here this period. I feel like it's a storm warning though. Somebody would wanna break up or somebody wants to separate or something like that, right? That's a storm warning to you or that's drama or something like that. So I feel like, all right, I gotta get a strategy here or I gotta take a leap of faith, a chance or something, right? Cause I feel like you don't want something to end or something, okay? So, um. No, I feel like you might travel. See the road here and there. So I'm not sure if you're traveling somewhere or what. Okay, so maybe you're traveling somewhere or maybe they're traveling somewhere. Okay. All right. Hmm. Maybe you're going to travel somewhere. Or somebody's, you know, somebody's a regret for breaking your heart because I feel like somebody feel like they was fated to meet you or something like that right here. So they regret for breaking your heart or they have regret somebody, I don't know, something like that, right? Or somebody was shady or somebody was, had some deception about money or they was tempted about money or something like that, right? It's like, how am I going to fix this or something like that? So I'm getting right here. Okay. So, I feel like somebody wants to reconcile right here with you. For real, I feel. Now, it says toxic attachment or obsession or drugs or alcohol. It's like, I'm addicted to you. I'm getting right here. Reconciliation. It's like, somebody wants a second chance. They miss you. I'm getting. Okay. I feel like it's such a magnetic attraction with you or somebody right here. 
somebody feel like you're irresistible, okay? I feel like, or something like that, or they be lusting or flirting. So I'm getting like a second chance with you. So get in my hand. <laughs> Like, I need a second chance with you, or I want a second chance with you. Something like that right here. Okay, let me see what else here. This is Capricorn. All right, March the 15th through April the 15th of 2024, please, for Capricorn. I'm here with, like, I need a second chance with you, or I want a second chance with you. Like, I really do, or something like that, right? I'm getting, like, the color yellow or something. You know, yellow can represent study and focus. Okay. Yeah, or fresh and clean or something like that. All right. What else? All right. Reiki, mental healing, meditation, eye pain healing, headache healing, spiritual healing. All right. So this could be somebody, this could be a Reiki session. Maybe you do Reiki or maybe somebody feels like, you know, being around you is very healing in some way. Okay. Yeah. Manifesting $250,000. Okay. So uh, this could be a business. Maybe you have a Reiki business or a healing business or spiritual biz business. Something like that. Okay. Or massage or something like that. Somebody's sorry. I told you somebody's traveling. I feel some people here. Somebody could be traveling for some people here. But it says right here, fantasy, beauty. I love your voice. Mermaid. Hard to touch. Okay, I feel like somebody feel like if they touch you, it'd be healing. Or if you touch them, it's healing. Or that could be the case. So that could be another thing that somebody need to know. Okay, if you touch them, it's healing or something like that. Anyway, now they're so sorry. Okay, somebody's sorry I'm getting right here. Okay, let's get two more. We're going to end this part right here. Okay, so it says fashionable, the latest trends right here. Okay, so the latest is that somebody's sorry about something right here, I feel. Okay, one more. One more right here, please. I'm, I'm hearing that song um, by um, Whitney Houston. She said, oh, I want to dance with somebody. Yeah, so somebody might want to dance with you. I told you yellow. I just said yellow. Look at that. The color yellow. Right? Something here is about yellow. Yellow is study and focus, like I just now said. So that's what I'm getting here for some people. Here, somebody's studying. They focus upon you, I feel. That's the latest trend, I feel, that somebody is studying and focusing upon you, I feel, right here, some way. Okay, all right, so let me see if I can get this last spread right here for you, Capricorn. Okay, don't forget, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big, fat thumbs up, subscribe, and even share this message, okay? So let's see here, all right, this is Capricorn. Now let's see what we get right here. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Capricorn. This is March the 15th through April the 15th, 2024 for Capricorn. Would you look at what we got here? Ooh, child. <laughs> the Emperor is over here in reverse. What is this one? The Queen of Cups. One more. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles reverse. Mm. So, I feel like somebody's preparing to, to receive in the future, right? But the Knight of Pentacles reverse is not doing anything at all. So, I'm not sure if they really are going to do something in the future or not. I feel like with the Emperor Reverse, somebody's overdoing their control or somewhere here. So, let's let's see what's going on here. Okay, why is this Emperor Reverse? Because hmm? it looks like somebody's preparing for the future, but they're overdoing their control in some way. With the Emperor right here reverse, okay? I feel like somebody's going to wake up to that right here. Could be a twin flame, but this card is also about ascension. Okay. This even could be somebody slipped up right here. Knight of Wands is doing something impulsively or slipping up in some way. So maybe somebody overdid their control. Somebody figured it out. Could be the case right here because I feel like somebody had ascension. Okay. What's the Knight of Pentacles reverse for? Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm getting right here. Yes. Somebody's manipulative, I feel, right here. The Empress reverse. They're overdoing their control in some way. Definitely. Okay. They're overdoing their control. Okay. Somebody thinks or wants to not have to do anything. Yeah. And just control something or something like that. That's how I kind of feel. I want to control you, but I don't want to do anything. Knight of Pentacles reverse is not doing anything in some way. But I kind of feel like as well, Knight of Pentacles reverse also could be, it could be, it could be an understanding right here. 
right? They have to be wavering, yeah. See, now pentacles in the, in the upright is unwavering. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna do anything, right? In reverse, they have to change. They might realize that some people are here, or somebody could walk away. Maybe somebody's gonna walk away if somebody doesn't change in some way. Okay, but this could be about love for some people here, and I kind of feel like somebody's gonna realize they're overdoing their control. They slipped up. Somebody knows, right? So over here, unwavering. Now they have to waver. I get the sense, yeah, in the future or something like that. Three of Wands. So somebody's plans right here was to overdo their control and not do anything in some way. They're powerless. <laughs> Eight of Swords right here. They're powerless and feel so way right here. If they don't do something, whatever it could be, it could be talking, it could be anything. But something they have to do, I feel in some way. So it's a change of plans I'm getting right here. Yeah. Okay. What's the Queen of Cups? Yeah, they have regret right here. Yeah, they have regret right here. Or they'll be regret right here if they lose you for some people right here. Or if they can't control something because this one right here looks like controlling and this one looks like controlling. If you look at her, she got a dog chain around her neck. Like, I feel like somebody wants to control something right here some type of way. But they have to be realistic or something. Yeah, somebody's cheating and lying here, I feel. In some way right here, okay? Okay, they have to do something, I feel. Overdoing their control is not going to work. Somebody slipped up and caught them, I feel. What's the Queen of Cups? Hmm. Yeah. So I feel like somebody wants to balance something out or fix something here that happened in the past with the Queen of Cups or Sagittarius or in Sagittarius season or maybe somebody went and reconciled with a water sign or Sagittarius or something, right? Yeah. I'm just hearing like I gotta fix this or something like that, you know. I even kind of feel like something is good news if somebody do reconcile with you in some way. It's like I want to reconcile with you because you're really good news. I want to reconcile with you. So I just feel like they're overdoing their control though in some way right here. Yeah. The Queen of Cups right here. I mean the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Maybe somebody's in love. Okay. I feel like somebody wants you to fall in love with them. Yeah, I need you to fall in love with me or something like that, right? Yeah, okay. That's the truth right here, Ace of Swords, right? So I need you to fall in love with me, okay? Something like that right here, okay? What else here? Yeah, that's the truth right here, Eight of Swords, right? They're contemplating right here how, you know... They need you to fall in love with them. I feel like it's going to be a challenge to get you to fall in love with just talking or their mind or something like that. Because this one right here could be communicating. Eight of Wands could be communication right here. And this even could be scattered communication. Sometimes I feel like it's scattered communication. But I feel like, you know, that might be a challenge for some people right here. Because the Queen of Wands right here is like confident, self-assured, fiery. Right, or maybe somebody's asking questions. Like maybe something here is like scattery in some way right here, right? But somebody stopped to ask questions or somebody's on it or they're sharp or something like that right here. Somebody's contemplating how sharp you are or how beautiful you are. It could be the case too. The Queen of Wands could be somebody that's a trend center or very beautiful or some way or something like that. Okay? Could be the case too. Ace of Pentacles right here. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants a foundation with you, right? But it's like they have to get you to love them or something like that. And for some people, it's a third party, too. It's like a lot going on right here. Because for some people, it's a third party, too. The king and the queen of cups right here, right? And then the king, the queen of wands. Or how to get you to want to be in a third party situation or polyamory or something. How do I get you to want to be in polyamory? Mm. I got to get you to fall in love with me or something like that first or something like that. Yeah, six of cups right here. And the seven of pentacles right here. This could be somebody from the past. Could be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, in the past, somebody was lying. I feel. They wasn't telling the truth about something, I feel, right here. Right? And so now, they're going back to the drawing board and trying to figure out what plans are they going to do for the future. I'm getting right here three of wands. Okay, or this is somebody's plans to get you to love them. Something like that right here. Five of Swords right here, Six of Wands right here. Yeah. 
Somebody knows they have to do you right in the future in some way. Whatever aspect this is about, it's going to be different for everybody here. Could be a Libra, right? But in some way in the future, I want you to love me or something like that, right? Or I want to try. This is travel again. Some of you, you could be traveling or they're going to travel to you. I'll get my hand. Or maybe you want to travel somewhere, okay? Seven of Wands right here. This even could be somebody went to go travel somewhere for help to get something to move forward in the future some way. Could be the case too. But somebody do want to be recognized by you in the future. Somebody knows this conflict. So some people, somebody's traveling to go get help, to seek help for you to open up to them. Or some of you, they're going to travel to you or you're going to travel to them. Something like that. Somebody knows the challenge in the distance in some type of way. So, you know, that's what they know right here. One more right here, right? One more. Okay, yeah, sun. Could be a Leo right here or in Leo season. Or oh, this Leo is feisty. Look at it. Look at these two right here. This Leo right here. Hmm. I'm getting like this Leo is your happiness, but at the same time, they feisty or something like that. I'm getting right here. Hmm. And um, it's two sides to a Leo. Which one, you know, or something like that could be the case, right? I don't know. But, yeah. It's like, I got to get the Leo or something like that, right? So, yes, how am I get the Leo to love me? Something like that, <laughs> okay? Yeah, nine of pentacles right here. When they're single, the Leo single, hmm? The Leo single, somebody like foolish, dang, the Leo single, yeah. The Leo is single as they want to be. So, they could be a stalemate or whatever. They could avoid somebody or whatever else. Hmm? Somebody like that's wishful thinking. I can't leave the Leo single over here. Something like that, right? That's what I'm getting. Okay. Anything else? Yep, a Leo. I'm getting this a Leo over here, okay? With these two right here. It's a Leo right here. Mm hmm Now, somebody could be doing a black magic spell and everything. I'm trying to end this reading right here, Capricorn. But somebody could be doing a black magic spell right here with these two and everything like that. I get the sense. And this Leo may notice they're doing a black magic spell. Maybe somebody knows a Gemini, the Virgo, or the Capricorn knows. I'm getting right here. Could be the case, right? Right? Somebody like, dang. Something is not as simplicity as they thought it was, okay? I get a sense. Somebody actually dealing with a lion over here. I'm getting, this is a lion. Okay. Huh. That's intuitive. I'm like, okay. Huh. So I feel like we're here to page of pentacles. Somebody have to either spend money or they have to make practical decisions or they have to be trustworthy or something like that. Okay. So anyway, that's what we have here at the end. Okay. Thank you so much for taking a look. If you love this video, go ahead and give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe, and even share. Namaste to you.